hate bitches. So I have the PS4 back button attachment. So let's let's see what it does. So guys, I do stream on Twitch um, at the moment. I don't stream on my my YouTube anymore. So head over there, follow me there. Um, just just show up and we can we can chat and everything. I promise I won't be weird. I won't talk about my periods. <laughs> and also, I do have a Discord. Um, so join that. The links down in the description, and we can all just chat and everything. I do do co-op days with um, people in the Discord so if you wanted to play um, there's a bunch of people that we all we all game together do souls stuff and it's just it's just it's really pog really fun you should join. So the packaging it comes in is quite simple and just why well I thought PlayStation would put more effort into um, their packaging design but it's quite simple, quite cheap, um, so that's all I have to say about that. The actual product feels solid um, where the, the buttons and stuff are. It doesn't feel quite solid where, where that big circle location is. here. It feels a bit flimsy um, and light and just cheap plastic, especially the connector. Um, with the audio jack it just it's just it's not good it's not good it's it's flimsy it, it could break quite easily it's just not fun trying to put it in and um, you feel like you're just gonna break it um, I really don't like that design element that they decided to do with that Um, but it does have a nice padded back where the button would be pressed up against the back of the controller. It's quite it's quite nice and it does have the PlayStation logo. And overall I do like the design of it, just like the, the look of it is quite stunning. I do like it. Um, except for the circle bit, I don't know, I think it they could have redesigned that a bit better. Um, I, I tried out the audio jack, so the extra one that they give you, I've tried that out. It's been fine for me, it, it works, it's fine. Most other attachments come from the actual PowerPoint there, so it's a different, it's definitely a different um, design and input they've taken, which is kind of interesting. The buttons feel good, they have a nice clicky feel to them, um, they're a bit flimsy in the middle so they kind of like rock around as you can you can hear and the different modes inside the the actual product is quite nice. I can just quickly switch on switch on the fly between my games and how I have it set up and I do like that I can actually select the options as a button um, it, which makes it just easier with any switching and all that. It's just, it's so much better. Also, I've noticed that a lot of you that do watch my videos aren't subscribed. So I think, I think you should click that, the button that's in the, the bottom, bottom right there. The, the, the red one, you know, the red one down there. You, you should click it and actually click, click, click the like as, as well. That, that might help. It helps a lot. So remember to do that. So the deal is for small hand gamers like myself, I have quite small hands and I'm just trying to place my hands where they they should be going. I have to stretch out my two my two fingers here to comfortably press um, the buttons and stuff and then it doesn't work and it feels really uncomfortable so I end up having to like move my fingers up a bit and use my a ring finger and it's quite hard to actually press down on um, the buttons so and it's not comfortable it's not easy and just having to get used to that new placement is really really fucks you up I've had about 50 hours um, using the back buttons in Dark Souls and Monster Hunter World and it, it's just not comfortable for small hands if I had a bit bigger hands these these would be great these would be great. They they feel nice. They're comfortable. Um, have a good clicky feel and sound to it. I do like that. Um, the audio works. It's fine. And I do like having the LED screen. I wish that was on the top. 
um, would be be better and easier because then I, I don't have to fucking flip it over and to see what the fuck I'm doing. But yes, um, so that's my final review. It, it, it's it's good if you don't have small kids. <laughs> basically, basically. So my final review for gamers that have small hands or young gamers, um, I would probably stay away um, from this product if you just you, you've never had back buttons before and you just wanted to give them a try. I I will suggest something else as this is quite difficult um, and uncomfortable um, to relearn to position things and press the buttons down. It's, it just doesn't work for me um, with my small hands. Otherwise, it, it, it's a good product. It, it's nice. It's good. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed the review of the PS4 back button. Um, it is, it's decent um, for what, um, for what it costs. Like I, I would definitely rather buy this than spend two, three, four hundred dollars on a custom controller. If there is nothing else available for you, this is definitely a good pickup to buy and try out if you've never had back buttons before. So, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this review. Um, I'm trying to be brutally honest um, with my reviews because you don't need no bullshit. Um, I hope you have enjoyed. Remember to subscribe, hit that, hit that little red button down at the bottom right and hit that like button and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!